Hey, this is Dr. Neil Schwartz. I get many emails about fears and the use of the drug known as Accutane. It goes by many brands, but it's the most powerful oral medication that has been used for acne in Western medicine. Here is my official opinion. Accutane has saved millions of people's lives. It was an incredible invention decades ago to help those who could not find relief any other way. It has saved people from scarring. It has saved people from being horribly depressed. It has saved people from killing themselves because of an inflammatory condition all over their face that no one could stop for them or they could not stop themselves. And essentially as an overall, if you look back historically, it has had a huge positive influence in our culture. That being said, Accutane is a very crude weapon in the fight for acne. It hits hard, the side effects can be hard, the long-term side effects are possible, and the fear from the long-term side effects are present, and it also leaves people without any skills for their skin if and when their acne relapses. As we know, Accutane is not a cure for acne. It is much better understood as a chemotherapeutic agent similar in treating cancer that goes into remission. When it comes to acne, we're not trying to cure anything and neither was Accutane when it first came out. The confusion about cure is, runs rampant in a society that is looking for quick fixes or looking for magical solutions. In this practice, as well as any, any dermatological practice or anyone using Accutane, the idea of cure is, creates confusion. Let me explain to you first what cure is about. In the acne practice, I define cure differently. I put quotes around it because it's not the real definition of cure, but it's my definition of cure, so it will be very important for everyone to know it. The way I defined the cure for acne is when an acne sufferer no longer has active inflammation on their face, they, their face feels smooth, their face is not distracted by acne or marks, and they are no longer emotionally challenged by the turmoils of acne. Also, in my definition of cure, an acne sufferer no longer lives in fear of food, activity, or even stress, although we know that those things can be aggravators if you live in fear of them, you are not, quote, cured by my definition. My definition of cure comes with a total inactivation and a confidence level that you can maintain your skin even throughout the stressful periods of life. Okay, so with that definition in place, what is my global opinion of Accutane? Well, I told you some of the benefits of Accutane. Let's talk about some of the downfalls of the use of Accutane as an approach for any degree of acne. Number one, Accutane has been well documented and known to put people at risk for a very dramatic inflammatory initial breakout or purge that can cause more scarring than a person would ever have in an entire lifetime having active acne. Therefore, while Accutane has been known to inactivate skin very effectively, the process in which it does it by can be so quick and so dramatic that someone's skin can get torn to pieces in a dramatic way that had they had not taken Accutane, they would not have nearly as much three-dimensional scarring even if they had acne for a lifetime. The second important reason I don't prefer Accutane as an approach to treatment is that by taking a pill every day unconsciously to treat a part of your body that requires artistic skill, you essentially leave yourself unskilled or unconscious. Therefore, if and when and oftentimes when your acne returns, you are left at day one without any skills of prevention or maintenance or skincare. And for this reason, 
Accutane is not an ideal solution for someone looking for a lifetime of clear skin. Number three, the side effects of Accutane are real. And these can be broken down into short-term and long-term. Short-term side effects like extreme dryness, itching, and certain hair and skin problems can further traumatize an emotional acne patient in such a way that their personalities are permanently affected by the entire experience of going through Accutane. For this reason, I find Accutane to be a crude solution. To beat acne, there does not have to be a suffering period that is extensive and long-lasting that will traumatize one emotionally. The long-term side effects of Accutane are documented and they are real. However, although these fears are what keep people from taking Accutane, I believe the other side effects I mentioned are much more important. Long-term side effects from a drug that can bring you relief is more like gambling. And that type of gambling in life can be very important. You may run into other ailments in your life one day that you have to make a gamble. S risk the side effects or risk under treating. And I personally would much rather have someone take the risk of side effects than the risk of under treatment or lack of treatment or just simply sitting in denial doing nothing. All that being said, I find Accutane to be a crude solution, an effective solution for many people, an ineffective solution for others, and certainly not a cure. If you see the subheading of my website, it says the acne practice, clear skin without oral medications. The reason I thought that subheading was so important was not to demonize oral medications. Rather, I wanted to show everyone there were possibilities besides oral medications, as I know from my own personal experience and countless others, that Accutane is not the cure. And like in the movie Jurassic Park, life finds a way, and acne oftentimes finds a way to come back after Accutane. So early in this project, I realized there were people who thought they had done everything by doing Accutane and they still had acne, and once having done, quote, everything, they realized it was time to give up, or they logically made the conclusion to give up. And that's what bothered me. And that's why the subheading is, clear skin without oral medications. It is emphasized to show everyone that there is more than one way to take down severe cystic acne, persistent moderate acne, or persistent mild acne, or even just a mild case of acne that you don't want to take pills for because you don't want to have a yeast infection, there are many, many ways to take down acne. Western medicine has offered an approach. It is a good approach, but I believe that everyone needs to understand that Western medical knowledge is not speaking in fact. They are speaking about a time-tested approach that has helped some, and hurt others. It has probably helped more than it has hurt, and therefore, it is a legitimate approach. That being said, I find it to be a crude approach, one that lacks elegance and lacks artistry and leaves people emotionally traumatized and oftentimes three-dimensionally scarred from its crudeness. And that is my opinion on Accutane. I want to add one more point. If any doctor, family practitioner, board certified dermatologist, esthetician, healer, or anyone that you believe to be credible in the medical world tells you that severe cystic acne cannot be treated topically and requires Accutane, please have them call me and I will set them straight by allowing them to view the video gallery that I have created to prove otherwise. If anyone tells you your condition is hopeless, or if any practitioner tells you there's nothing they can do or nothing you can do, please refer them to my video gallery or have them call me personally as this project was created to show people that acne has always been and will always be treatable. I'll be here if you need me. Take care.